bit of a problem, sir. I'm afraid your books are overdue. The problem is yours, lady, because I ain't paying no fines. But that's our policy. Too bad. Now this is a seriously cool band. Not as cool as day old bread. They are mega cool. Sorry, girls. I just found the coolest thing in the whole store. Anson Carter. Anson Carter? Who's that? The brand new scalding hot M Channel VJ. Isn't he a dream? Hi, guys. Anson Carter here with an exciting announcement for you. I'm looking for a special someone to co-host an upcoming show with me at the M Channel. All you have to do is send in a catchy and convincing audition tape, and who knows? Within weeks, you and I could be working together. Oh, this is too perfect. I'll send in my tape, get the job, Anson will fall in love with me, and we'll spend the rest of our lives together. <sighs> Okay, Clover, I totally support free expression and all, but you are in public. I'm going home right now to work on my tape. That was completely gross. A vacuum, then a garbage can? Thanks, Jer. Jer? Down here. <laughs> nice duds. Are you, like, in a play or something? No, but I have some very exciting news. I am to be knighted. <gasps> knighted? Like with a sword and the queen? And you'll be a sir? Yes, yes, and yes. It's quite an unexpected honor. So can we come? I've always wanted to meet the Queen. Tragically, you cannot, though you three will be traveling to England. England? But I can't! I have a very important, possibly life-altering video to star in. Well, I'm afraid it'll have to wait. Right now, I have an assignment for you. In the city of Liverpool, there have been a rash of odd occurrences. People's personalities have suddenly changed. Observe. This mild-mannered librarian started acting like a professional wrestler. And this prominent surgeon can't stop dancing. And this army general now treats his officers like a kindergarten class. Freak? Especially since some of these people are very important. Then I guess we better find out what's causing this to happen fast. Precisely. And now for your gadgets. You will be using laser lipstick, earring communicators, the hair pick lock pick, Suction cup bottomed go go boots and bags. Bags? Vapor emitting gloves. Wear them at your Ooh. olfactory risk. Ew! Nast! Indeed. Mm. And now you're off. Ah. As am I. So, Anson, remember my name is Clover, and your search is over. You found your M Channel guest gal. I'm hipper than hip, hopper than hop. I walk the walk, and baby, I talk the talk. Mwah. That was awesome, Clover. Thanks. Now all I have to do is send in the tape and keep my fingers crossed. Good, because right now it's spy time. Are you sure you're a librarian? Because, sister, you are way buff. I wasn't till last Thursday, the day my whole life changed. What do you mean? What happened? I was working at the library when I saw this bright light. Then all of a sudden, I wasn't a wimp anymore. I was a wrestler. It was amazing. I'm afraid I don't follow. The only thing I lifted before was books and my afternoon cup of tea. Now I can bench 150. I have never matched tomorrow night against some bloke from Kensington. Want to come? 
Sounds like a blast, but unfortunately, we'll have to take a rain check. Suit yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go work on my abs. <laughs> What a freak show. I mean, how often do you meet a wrestling librarian? Yeah, about as often as you meet a high school girl involved in international espionage. Okay, bad example. Hey, check it out. Pro wrestler Birmingham Brawler quits. Wants simpler, quieter life. He probably got dropped on his head one too many times. Huh? So? Either that or his personality's changed. What are you saying, Sammy? That this is way too weird to be a coincidence. Yes, well, wrestling was my old life, you see. Now I prefer a good book. But you're like the Birmingham brawler, dude. A butt-kicking powerhouse of strength? Hmm? Oh, yes, well, I was the Birmingham brawler until last Thursday when I discovered Trollope, Emily Bronte, and Balzac. You don't happen to know the head librarian at the Liverpool Library, do you? Why, no, but I'd so love to meet her. We probably have a great deal in common. Well, thanks for your time. Keep digging on those books. Oh, yes, I shall. Well, cheerio, my dears. Just when I thought the first freak show was good, the second one was even better. It's like the game we used to play in nursery school, opposite <gasps> day. You're absolutely right, Alex. It's like they've switched personalities. But how is that possible? Especially since they don't even know each other. I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> It's totally amazing. Even in the most heinous of tweeds, I still look fabulous. So what are we looking for exactly? The librarian's date book. I want to know what's so special about last Thursday and what her connection is to our wrestler. Hmm. Huh? According to this, she met with uh, Dr. Gray on Thursday morning. It says here he's a shrink. He treats doctors, generals, teachers, and even celebrities like the Birmingham Brawler. Bingo, we have our connection. It's time to pay the good doctor a visit. Okay, so this is like the opposite of a normal place to live. Shrinks are so dramatic. Looks like nobody's home. I say we let ourselves in. Hmm. Hmm. We may need a gadget to bust through. How about a nice roundhouse kick instead? Boots are multifunctional. <laughs> okay, let's split up and see what we find. Use your ear and communicators to stay in touch. Well, besides the criminally tacky decor, everything looks pretty normal to me. Same here. How about on your end, Alex? Just a stuffy room filled with books. Hmm? Come to think of it, that wrestler would love it here. <laughs> Alex? Alex, are you okay? She's not answering. Let's find her. Whoa! Sammy? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, this is so not good. So, I went over the falls in the barrel, caught the hoodlum on his fancy boat, and now he's shut away for years. Oh my, what a story! How thrilling! Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty, I'll be just a minute. Hello? Jer, it's Clover, and I have a big-time problem. Alex and Sam just disappeared! I need you to help me ASAP! 
<laughs> yes, well, I'm afraid that might not be possible just huh? this instant. I not possible? Hello? If you don't get here quick, I may be the next to vanish. And then it's goodbye, M-Channel, goodbye, Anson, and goodbye, perfect life. <laughs> Calm down. I have your coordinates. I'll be there as soon as I can. Everything all right? <laughs> oh, yes. Right as rain. Say, do you mind pointing me in the direction of the loo? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So, what is this place? The home of our prime suspect, Dr. Gray. He's switching the personalities of his patients. We just don't know how or why. Hmm. Very interesting. If by interesting you mean gaudy, then yeah, I'm with you. Not the decor, Clover. I'm talking about that. What is it? A pendant. The kind used in hypnotherapy. It's really heavy, and not in the cool 60s way. Well, that's because it's filled with some sort of circuitry. I wonder what this button does. It activates huh? my latest research tool. The highly potent and highly controversial behavioral adjuster. Dr. Gray, I presume. Huh? It allows me to alter the persona of anyone I see fit. So far, I've only used it on my annoying patients, but I assume that it works just as well on intruders. So, what is your deal? Why are you messing with people's personalities? Because I'm sick of listening to them complain. I figure if they learn to walk in each other's shoes, maybe they'll see life with a whole new perspective. Plus, it's a great deal of fun. Hey, kind of an extreme approach to therapy, don't you think? Sometimes it's necessary to be extreme. In fact, since my experiment's going so well, I'm planning on going global, starting with the President of the United States. I think he could learn a lot from a rodeo clown. You'll never get away with it. We'll see about that. Get rid of them! <laughs> Nice moves, Jer. Your moves are quite skillful as well. Fine, Zen. I guess I'll just have to dispose of you myself. <laughs> We've, like, been totally busy. Huh? Indeed. Uh -huh. We've been quite preoccupied. <gasps> oh, good heavens. Mm -hmm. No freaking way! Huh? Okay, this is the weirdest moment ever. Yeah, what happened to you guys? I gave them a little attitude adjustment. <gasps> I so can't believe the nerve of you. I mean, talk about a major loser. Jerry, please. That kind of talk isn't going to alter our present predicament. Speaking of predicaments, things are about to get a lot worse. Oh That's only the half of it. In a matter of moments, your cells will be teeming with rats. They've been starved for days. Enjoy the psychological torture! Huh? Okay, ooh, guard me with a spore. This is seriously grody. Unhand me, you vile creatures. Mercy, this is repugnant. I don't know which is scarier, the rats or those two switching personalities. Me neither. <laughs> Clover, the laser lipstick, it's in your pocket. <laughs> Brilliant thinking, Samantha. Huh? Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome! Now it's your turn, girlfriend. <gasps> Thanks, Clover. Uh, I mean, Jerry. Oh, you're quite welcome. No prob. Okay, I can't stand another second of this. We have to find that demented doctor and switch you back right now. Huh? Oh, for the love of Pete. Who could be phoning at a time like this? Yes, hello. Ah, oh, delightful. I absolutely will. See you then. Well, it seems I got that Anson Carter gig. They've requested my presence in Los Angeles immediately. But what about your situation? You know, the fact that you're acting like a 50-something English guy? Ta, ah, she'll just have to deal, because right now the three of us need to jet to DC before the Prez becomes a rodeo clown. <laughs> Jerry here. Oh no, I like totally forgot. I'll be there in a gym. Later, someone from the palace. It's nighting time. Oh, I guess that just leaves me and you. <laughs> huh? We have to talk to the president right away. It's a matter of national security. Hmm. Sorry to barge in on you like this, sir, but it's an emergency. Yeah, an evil shrink's about to turn you into a rodeo clown. Did you say a rodeo clown? Well, this is just plum crazy. Trust me, crazy doesn't even begin to describe this guy. Good evening, Mr. President. It's time for your counseling session. What no glorious name are those? The shoes you'll soon be walking in. See what I mean? He's way loony. That's right, and now we're here to kick your butt! <laughs> I forgot to mention that I switched my faithful assistants with some karate black belts on the way here. So my butt kicking probably is not going to happen. Now let's get what we came for, boys. Now what do we do, Sammy? The only thing we can do, Alex, bring out the heavy artillery. We're not done with you yet. You've got to be joking. When it comes to saving the world, we don't joke, Doc. Sweet dreams. Awesome work, Sammy. Now let's put the stink to the shrink. I have other plans for him, Alex. Hey, I'm really psyched you're here, Clover. Your tape was killer. Well, I'm tickled pink to be here, Anson, truly. Well, tickled pink? Okay, interesting lingo. So, uh, you ready to play some videos, guest VJ? Indubitably. Ah, what's this awful din? <laughs> Excuse me? This video. Don't tell me kids actually like this rubbish. This rubbish is fried garbage, and they're number one on the charts. Well, I must say their name is quite appropriate. Ah, well, is there anything you do like, Ms. Cranky? As far as I'm concerned, the only music worth its salt is the classical variety. Brahms, Mozart, Bach. I bet your audience would appreciate it as a welcome relief. Yeah, well, maybe we'll try it in another lifetime. Meanwhile... Oh, bother. Majesty. Like, I'm totally sorry I'm late. That's quite all right, Jerry. So, like, thanks again for inviting me to hang at your killer digs. I'm royally blown away. It's so inappropriate. Our pleasure. Well, thanks to both of you, then. And major props on deciding to make me a knight. It's like such the unexpected treat. Even better than a shoe sale at the mall. Are you feeling okay, Mr. Lewis? Okay. I'm downright stoked, Queenie. Now let's get this party started. Oops. 
You'll never get away with this. Wanna bet? I guess we better go help the others. Good idea. And in the meantime, my men will take care of this clown. Clover and Jerry made out. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, the only music worth its salt is the classical variety. Brahms, Mozart, I can't Bach, believe those words actually Bach. came out of my mouth. It's so embarrassing. What is embarrassing is my behavior at the palace. Not only does the queen now despise me, but my chances of ever becoming a knight are utterly nil. Well, that's too bad, Jer. Huh? huh? Hmm. Hello? Yeah, that's me. No way! Yeah, totally! Okay, bye. You're so not gonna believe this. Anson, the love of my life, has never gotten as many calls about a guest BJ. Everyone loves the cranky girl. They want me back. Awesome! You can thank me anytime. Uh, no, I don't need to thank you, Jer. I need to switch personalities with you. Where's that behavioral adjuster thingy? Oh, no. No, not in a million years. Come on, Jer! I said no. But, Jer, this is important. Please! <laughs>